Peace to everybody. Back with another video. This is Democrats are exposing themselves in Michael Flynn case divine. And this is, article is from May 17, 2020 at 9.58 p.m. And as you can see right here is Samantha Power, who is one of the Democrats that's exposing themselves what they have done in Michael Flynn case. Samantha Power was the largest unmasker of U.S. persons in our country's history, then Representative Tracy, Trey Gowdy said in October 2017 when he was interviewing her during the House Intelligence Community's Russia probe. Yes, so Samantha Power, she was the largest unmasker of U.S. Um, persons in our country's history. So Samantha Powers have, have Power have done evil. This is why they're showing you. They're exposing you. When he was interviewing her during the House Intelligence Community Committee's Russia probe, so Ted Gowdy is the one who said this in October 2017. As U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, she made hundreds of unmasking requests during the final year of the Obama administration, although her post had no obvious intelligence function. Uh, well, yeah, well, sh this is what she is claiming now. As U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, and we know the United Nations are evil as well, she made hundreds of unmasking requests during the final year of the Obama administration. And we know what happened in the Obama administration uh, um, that Obama has torn this country apart. Um, he's, he, has, he has torn the United States apart by sending Michael Flynn to jail. Pelosi's trying to get her way with um to impeach Trump, that failed the first time, and watch when the second time comes around, that's going to fail. There's Nancy Pelosi saying, I will never be Speaker of the House again. Well, at least she's doing us all a favor. Um, then, of course, there's other stuff that came with it. She asked that the identity of General Michael Flynn be revealed in classified intelligence reports seven times between Election Day 2016 and the inauguration of President Trump on January 20th, 2017. Although she testified later of having no collection of the request. So now she's saying that she had no collection of the request at all. Uh, she asked that the identity of General Michael Flynn be revealed in classified intelligence reports seven times, and none of the Democrats have revealed any of it because they did not care. They want to see Michael Flynn go to jail for a very long time. And since he just recently got out of prison and been exonerated by President Donald Trump, these Democrats are just as worse as anything. Now, I did have a significant appetite for intelligence. I do, Power told Gowdy. All right, so now the um, Gowdy, he asks, now, now did I have a significant appetite for intelligence? And um, Power said, yeah, I do. No kidding? No kidding at all. Now that she was alone, we now discovered thanks to a document declassified by the nation's intelligence chief that more than three dozen members of the Obama administration, including Joe Biden, also had an unhealthy obsession with unmasking Flynn. Well, at least they tried to unmask him. But they couldn't because they couldn't find nothing on him whatsoever. So they kind of figured, well, we're, we're going to just throw him in jail. We don't care about him, him at all. We got to get him out of the way. 
uh, so we could get to Trump, and that's exactly what the Democrats did, a.k.a. the shadow governors, a.k.a. the global elites, a.k.a. the elites. They got in Trump's ear. They made him fire Michael Flynn. Um, Joe Biden thinks he's going to be president of the United States. Joe Biden's got dementia. He doesn't even know where he is half the time. Um, so there, I mean, it's just a lot of things that went on with with the Obama administration, thinking they could do this and do whatever they want. Uh, no, they can't do whatever they want because they all broke, they all lied and, um, and, um, and did everything they could. But now that people are starting to come out to tell the truth, and like I said, the Democrats are showing themselves of what they have done. After this flurry of activity, it was only a matter of time before someone leaked Flynn's name to the Washington Post, providing the pretext for the infamous FBI setup interview that led to his resignation just after just 24 days as National Security Advisor, and sparking the Russia collusion fantasy that hobbled the Trump administration before it began. Yeah, so... It, um, th this is exactly what the um, Democrats did. Um, there was an FBI setup. They made they made the FBI lie. Uh, even though they should be in prison as well. Um, they set up the interview that led to his recognition. At just. After just 24 days as National Security Advisor. So this is what the Democrats are showing you. They're exposing themselves finally. Exposing themselves. Because they do not care about America. And here yet you people vote these evil tyranny people into offices. You need to vote them out. Get rid of them. Because they are tyranny. <laughs> The presidential transition is supposed to be a peaceful handover of power from one administration to the next. But in the 10 weeks between Election Day and Inauguration Day, something went very badly wrong. Yes, they set up Michael Flynn and so where Donald Trump had to fire him, which that was not the right thing to do because Michael Flynn was head of security and now that Michael Flynn has been exonerated, um, they they are um, exposing themselves to Democrats. So I'm glad that Michael Flynn got exonerated by Donald Trump because this is what this is what he's he wanted, and. And the Obama administration, well, you might as well call them Obama Gates, because you know everybody's going to be going to prison soon, if for all the treason they did and everything else that they have done to people. In the words of Rep. De Devin Nunes, Obama's people went wild after Trump won. They got poisoned with the Russia hoax. They were just unmasking and then leaking out about anyone within the Trump campaign and the Trump transition team. Yes, yeah, so after Donald Trump had won the election, um, the uh, Democrats, a.k.a. shadow governments, a.k.a. elites, a.k.a. global elites, they decided to put this Russia hoax on Donald Trump's because they because Hillary Clinton wasn't president of the United States. Well, nobody wants Hillary Clinton either. So you you got it. Donald Trump is your president, whether you like it or not. And Hillary Clinton, she is an elite. She's evil. She doesn't care about America at all. And the Hillary Clinton that we got now is not the real one. Uh, <sighs> So this is why the Democrats have done everything they 
This is why the Democrats are exposing themselves now. <clears throat> Any pol pol parliamentary system such as Britain's, a new prime minister can show up for work the day after the election. And in other democracies, a period of caretaker government limits the powers of the lame duck administration. And yes, they are the lame duck of administration because there's Obama, Clinton, Biden, uh, and other ones that are Pelosi. All of them are evil. And here yet you people vote these tyranny people into office. Real? Are you kidding me? But in America, there is a remarkable period of almost three months during which an unscriptuous administration could plant landmines for its successor to step on. So I mean, the, Obama, the, the elites can step on a landmine and blow themselves up into exposing themselves. Um, but in America, there is a remarkable period of almost three months during which an unscrupulous administration. And that as becomes clear each day is what happened to the Trump administration. Yeah, so the elites are showing themselves. They're exposing everything they got going. They're telling you what they're going to do. They're telling you what they have done. And here you are believing their lies. Uh, I would stop believing their lies immediately because there's no way they're going to tell the truth at all. The threat for the Obamaites wasn't that Republicans were returning temporarily to office. It was that the barbarian Trump uniquely imperiled their entire progressive agenda. Yes, so... Um, Trump had an agenda, has an agenda, but also the Obamanites was it that Republicans were return, returning temporary to office. Well, I believe the Republicans are, are going to be temporarily returned to office, be, are still going to stay in office, because the elites, as long as they're exposing what they're showing you and telling you what they are going to do, they're just as evil as anything. And this is a sad shame what they had to come, had to do to expose themselves. But they wasted a little time wailing and writing their garments. Being professional community actives, they turned their emotions into actions. So that's what they did. They turned their emotions into actions. Um, all these fake um, people, the Anita Me Too movement, um, and whatever else, they're all funded by George Soros. They are. They're all funded by George Soros. The Me Too movement, the, the NIFTA and um, the white supremacy in it, all funded by George Soros and the um, elites as well. They are not to be trusted ever. They do what they re regarded as their patriotic duty, bedeviling Trump before he set foot in the Oval uh -huh. Office. So yes, yeah, so Trump... Um, before he set foot in the Oval Office, they did what they regarded as their patriotic duty. So, Trump is a patriot, but he, when he got into office, he gave up everything. Gave up his money, everything. So, there's no way people could say, oh, well, he, he's funding this. No. When you become President of the United States, you have to give up everything that means your money your um businesses your whatever you got you they give up everything and they gotta go and, and the presidents have to live on a salary that they are given 
at the White House. So there's no way that people could come out and say, well, he did this and did it. No, shut up. Stop believing the lies from the news media because you know what? They're full of crap. And you need to take a stand against these tyranny, starting with Obama, then a Clinton, Dr. Fauci, who's not a real doctor, by the way, Bill Gates, he's definitely not a doctor, and all these other people. So in their last days in power, they used the intelligence agencies to draw or trawl for dirt, which they wove into a barely plausible narrative that Trump was an assessed of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Well, there was no collusion with Trump and the Russian at all. That was a lie out of the Democrats. They lied. They told you, well, Trump has, has collusion with the Demo with the um, Vladimir Putin. No, because Donald Trump came out and said it was a witch hunt. He did not believe it. At, he did not believe the probe at all. This is why these Democrats are, will do anything to get Trump out of office, but they can't do it because whether they like it or not, Donald Trump is the president. So I don't care how mad they get or anything. So they thought, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna impeach him. Yeah, apparently that didn't work very well. Now did it? A fake impeachment against Donald Trump, really? Then someone leaked this nonsense along with the sarcophagus contents of the fictional steel dossier to a weaponized media. They then sat back and savored the hounding of their nemesis. The resistance was born. So now you have the resistance that were born by the elites. All right, and um. Uh, Functional steel dossier to a weaponized media. Well, half of, I, I believe 80% of the fake news media, they need to go to jail for a very long time because they don't tell you the truth about nothing at all. They then sat back and savored the hounding of their nemesis. The resistance was born. So... You have to learn to resist the evil because if you don't and keep voting these people in the office year after year after year, you're never going to get your life back. And this is what they are doing. You need to take a stand and fight for your rights. No wonder power and Irish born activist journalist who became an Obama devotee was weirdly zen about Trump's victory when interviewed by the Irish Times in November 2017. She says she was confronted by the checks and balances kicking into constrained tr Trump, the courts blocking his policies, and the woman becoming triggered by his vulgarity and cruelty. Yeah, so there was an Irish reporter. Uh, she's Irish-born activist journalist. Uh, she was, she became, who became an Obama devotee that was weirdly zen about Trump's victory. So she was triggered when Donald Trump won the um, election. Um, and of course, you know, these journalists who are fake, and the news media that are fake, they need to go to prison. They really do. Because they're not telling the truth. They don't care about the truth. They only People are only believing the lies. I mean, take a look at the... Take a look at the news media and see how much lies they have told, told you right in front of your face and that you don't even care of what is going on. And, and all you people that are believing the lies, stop it. Stop believing the lies. They're showing you what they're, they are exposing themselves for what they are doing to people and what they are trying to do to Donald Trump because they can't stand him.
Like her former colleagues, Power also kicked along the Russia collusion tail any chance she got. So yeah, Power, she did kick the co Russia collusion tail any chance that she got because she wanted Donald Trump to go to to get out of the out of the White House as well. And, but since all that was ex, ex, exposed and didn't find nothing, Donald Trump was the one who came out and said this Russia hoax is a witch hunt. And it was. It was a witch hunt. He didn't believe them. Putin has a has got a very high return on his investment, she told Stephen Colbert on CBS in December 2017. All right, so Putin got a very high return on his investment. So why is Putin, why would Putin even um, be in a, in a cahoots with um, Donald Trump when he's not even doing nothing? Um, so power is the one who's, doing all this crap and doing this and doing that and everything else she's doing. Yet two months earlier, she had testified in the House of Intelligence Committee that she had seen no evidence of Russian collusion. Well, at least she, yeah, she never saw no Russian collusion whatsoever because it was false and the elites can't stand Donald Trump because he's a patriot. And plus, he's a Christian. So this is why the elites do not like America. They do not like America. They are ripping it apart day by day. And little by little now, everything is coming to light. What was done in the dark is now coming to light. Because they expose themselves for who they really are. And yet, here you want to go and say, oh, well. Let's get Trump out of, uh, uh, excuse me? You want to take the, the elite side instead of the patriot side of getting, yeah, you people are sick. It was the same with Obama's director of national intelligence, James Clapper. Well, we know James Clapper deserves to be in jail, right along with the Obama. And, of course, the other elites, so... I mean, you can't trust none of the elites. They're all evil. They're exposing themselves. And it's right in front of your face and you don't even care. As a paid CNN contributor, Clapper repeatedly declared that Trump was a Russian asset. Yeah, well, James, CNN is criminal news network because they're a liar. CNN does not tell the truth about nothing, even though they claim, oh, we tell the truth. No, they don't. It's Criminal News Network. That's what CNN is. And, of course, James Clapper, he had to go on there and say, oh, well, D Donald Trump, is, was, Trump was a Russian asset. Uh, no, Donald Trump was not a Russian asset. He never said anything about Russia and yet these elites are saying oh are saying this crap about him yeah they're making up all kinds of lies about Donald Trump and here you believe every one of them wake up you sheep yet under oath in July 2017 he told the committee I never saw any direct impartial evidence that the Trump campaign or someone in it was plotting or conspiring with the Russians to meddle with the elections. Oh, well, wait a minute. Didn't James Clapper just accuse... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. First, James Clapper saying he never... Saying that Trump was a Russian asset. Now, all of a sudden, he's saying that he's not. He never saw it. Uh, make up your minds, James Clapper. You're a liar and a, and a traitor to the United States. Hello? What's wrong with this picture? As a paid MSNBC contributor, Obama's then actress, CIA director, John Brennan, labeled Trump treasonous and holy in the pocket of Putin. Yeah, well, guess what? John Brennan is another elite. 
he labeled Trump treasonous. How is Trump doing anything treasonous? I want to hear this story. How is Donald Trump treasonous? He hasn't done nothing wrong. He's doing what he can to get because he's surrounded by the elites every day that are doing evil stuff. And here yet you people don't even realize what they're doing. Wake up. And of course, MSNBC, they're lying fake news media as well. That whole state, that they need to go to prison. But last month, after the Mueller investigation found no Russia collusion, he told MSNBC he might have received bad information. I think I suspected there was more than there actually was. Sure. Uh, no. Uh, okay, so now you're going to change the story again, huh? All right, so now he's changing his story again, John Breenan. How many stories are you gonna? Is he gonna make up? Now he's saying that, but last March after the Mueller investigation found no Russian collusion, he told MSNBC he might have received bad information. Uh, yeah, bad information about Trump is not true. Hello, and then he says, "I think I suspected there was more than there actually was." Oh yeah, he suspected it all right by lying. Barack Obama, whose real name is Barry said Tories, thank you, whose administration turned spying on American citizens into an art form, has remained so sincerely, serenely above the fray until now, when the only thing standing between Trump and a second term is a sleepy guy in a basement. Which that'll be Joe Biden. He's sleepy Joe. He's creepy Joe because he likes to touch children. Um, so that's who the sleepy guy in a basement is. Um, the Bar Obama whose administration turned spying on American citizens to an art form, which he had no right to do that. He sp he had his people spy on um. Donald Trump for no reason at all. Donald Trump never did anything wrong. He's not treasonous. He never did nothing wrong with Russia because he didn't want nothing to do with them. And yet here they say, oh, well, he's in collusion with Russia. Yeah, okay. And when all the, when all the reports came out, there was no such thing. It was all made up by the Obama administration. During two virtual commencement speeches over the weekend, Obama fashioned the attack lines the Democrats will use during the campaign. Yeah, well, the Democrats are a bunch of bullcrap because they're liars. They don't care about nobody. They only care about their power and money. Think about it. Do they actually give a crap about you? No, they do not give a crap about you. And here you vote these people in year after year after year. Stop it. Vote them out permanently. Stop allowing them to take over your lives. This pandemic has fully finally torn back the curtain on the idea that so many of the folk in charge know what they're doing, he said. A lot of them aren't even pretending to be in charge. Yes, yeah, so... Yeah, a lot of them are not pretending, but you know, but when it comes to the Obama, yeah, he did everything he could to destroy, he, he destroyed everything in eight years and did nothing for this country at all because he did not care at all. He lied to you. He said, oh, America, we're going to make a, we're, oh, the economy is this and that. Uh, excuse me? When all the technology jobs went over to China, all of our technology, uh, yeah, think about that. The pandemic works electorally for the Democrats in three ways. So now they got the pandemic works 
electorally in the Democrats in three ways. Oh, oh boy. It has crippled Trump's greatest asset, the economy. It offers the opportunity for the socialist transformation that often follows a war, and it allows them to keep hiding Biden in the basement. Also, oh, now they, they crippled Trump's greatest asset, the economy. Well, Trump was doing, was given the truth, the economy is doing very well. And now that the elites had came and destroyed all of that, while they're bailing out their corporates, yes, I said it, their corporates, they did not give a damn at all about Trump at all. Uh, socialist uh, uh. transformation, yeah, you're not supposed to go out, you're not supposed, you got to do this, and do uh, screw them, screw them, they're not your boss, you are their boss, they have to do what you tell them, not the other way around, same way with the governors and the attorney generals and the mayors, you are their boss, they are not allowed to tell you what to do, it is for Bidden. They plan to hang every oh, C-19 virus death around the president's neck, keep people locked down as long as possible, and then blame him for the ailing economy. Well, they're going to have a hard time trying to do that because they will never, ever get away with it. Trump had nothing to do with the virus at all. All right, he never had anything to do with it. So with the elites that are keeping you locked down longer, you better stand up to them and tell them to F off because you know what? They're not going to keep getting away with this much longer. People are protesting. They want the United States to open back up again so the economy can get started again. But... And the elites, they do not care what people say. But when you, but look where it got Andrew Cuomo. He got sued by somebody in Getzville, New York. Yesterday on live television, which I'm glad I did not watch, he got tested for the C-19 virus. That's the video I did last night. And then he wants everybody to get vaccinated, get the... Uh, vaccine and that uh no excuse me that's not going to happen because you are you have a right to not get it but the landmines they planted for trump in the transition are about to blow up on them yeah so the elites they're about to get blown up because they got nothing on trump whatsoever trump is squeaky clean he was never in the Russian probe collusion. Never. And like I said, when you become president, you got to give up everything. Money, businesses, um, t towers that he has, everything. And you got to live on a salary that the, um, the White House has to give you. Nothing else. This is why... These elites are trying to get rid of him because, you know, they can't stand him at all. The Clarence Thomas documentary, Created Equal, to be aired on PBS Monday night is mandatory viewing. If you want to understand the character defects of Joe Biden. So if you want to know about Joe Biden... It's on PBS Monday night as mandatory viewing. So, and it will give you an understand the character deficits of Joe Biden, who is called Sleepy Joe. Well, we all know why. It also pays due homage to one of the greatest living Americans, the impoverished son of a single mother in the sea graded south who was raised by his former Manello grandfather, became a Marxist uh, uh. Ra radical at Yale Law School and who and rose to the Supreme Court. All right, so it does pay, it does pay 
do homage to one of the greatest living Americans, which I don't find Joe Biden any better because Joe Biden is Sleepy Joe and he likes to touch little kids. This is why they're, <laughs> this is why, um, what's her name came out and said that, um, that when, I guess when she was little that Joe Biden had, it did something to her. And when you believe kids that are small, you better believe the kids and not the adults that are doing it. Through the centerpiece of the explosive Anita Hill testimony at his 1991 Senate confirmation, the documentary aims a dagger at the hypocrisy of liberals on race and sex. So this is why racism is still around because of these elites and you know you got to stop believing them you really do you got to stop believing anything that they're telling you the news media is in lying the democrats are exposing themselves in the michael flynn case they're doing everything Biden, of course president over the senate here in which thomas famously dubbed a high-tech lynching for uppity blacks sitting next to his fellow traveler and moral re resitude senator ted kennedy biden was feckless clueless and totally outclassed by thomas yes yeah, so he was out outclassed by thomas um biden of course presented over the senate hearing which thomas famously dubbed a high-tech lynching for uppity blacks um, of course, sitting next to his fellow traveler, immoral re resituted Senator Ted Kennedy. Um, asked about the attacks on him that continue to this day, Thomas said they're just a tactic. So yeah, Thomas is just is saying they're just a tactic. So this is why the elites are using scare tactics against you. They're fear-mongering you. They want you to believe this and believe that. And um, uh, don't be afraid of them. Stand up to them. If you criticize a black person who's more liberal, you're a racist. But you can do anything to me or Ben Carson. Well, I'm not going to do nothing to Ben Carson. So now the so now they're saying if you criticize a black person who's more liberal, you're racist. Excuse me? But uh since when did that ever come around? I do not see color at all. I don't. I don't see color. I just see people. That's all I see. And what these people are doing are totally evil. His tormentors don't realize that their time will come and that they're the next to be in the Tower of London where there's a lot of tiring and feathering to go around, he says. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of tiring and feathering going around, all right. Um, his tormentors don't realize that, that their time will come and that they're the next to be in the Tower of London. So the people that are doing these evil things, yes, they will be in the Tower of London. The film was made before Biden faced the Tara Reid allegations, but there is a certain karmic justice in the timing. So, yeah, so... Tyra Reed had came out and told her story what Joe Biden had done. And um, Joe Biden said, oh, there's th these allegations are false, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah? Then why the heck are you sitting at home with an ankle monitor on your on you then, Joe Biden? Huh? Think about that. You under house arrest, Joe Biden, with an ankle monitor on you. Uh, excuse me, Joe Biden, you got anything else to say? <sighs> Time for the... The FBI needs to get with the 21st century and start digitally recording its interviews. The farce of the 302, the FBI's primitive method of memorize, mem memorializing what was said in an interview. 
based on handwritten notes and post HOC editing has been highlighted by the Michael Flynn case. It just looks like a way for the FBI to avoid accountability. So the FBI are responsible for what they have done. They set up Michael Flynn to have him thrown in jail and everything else. So the FBI needs to get with the 21st century fat chance of them have doing that and start digitally recording its interviews. Yeah, they, that's what they should have done in the first place instead of writing everything down. The farce of the 302, the FBI's primitive method of mem memorializing what was said in an interview. So they got to, so the FBI, they got to try to remember everything that was said uh, based on hidden handwritten notes and post- uh -huh. HOC editing, so, I mean, yeah, the FBI need to get it to, to, to the 21st century, but here they're stuck in the 20th century still, going by what Obama is saying, um, also doing what Hillary Clinton did with Michael Flynn, this and that. Uh, time to wake up, FBI, huh? Because you're going to prison too for all this stuff that you did to Michael Flynn? Think about it. And these people have been getting away with it for years to put people in jail for no reason at all when they when there was nothing going on with them. And, and this is why Michael Flynn is out of prison now because Donald Trump exonerated him. So this way, Michael Flynn won't be going back to jail no more. But who... But, the elites are the ones that are going to go to jail. Watch. And I guarantee you that they will never see the light again. Look where Joe Biden is right now at home with an ankle monitor on him. He can't even leave the house anywhere. This is why he's sitting at home with one. Leave your comments below. I am out.